So I just got a delivery in on what I think could be the K Flex killer. For no prizes for guessing where I ordered this from, I ordered these from Timu. So here we have two sets of Timu's take on the Condors or the K Flex flights. First impressions is they're a lot flimsier. However, let's see how these hold up. Although now that I say that, giving them a good, uh, giving them a little bit of a feel, they actually don't feel that bad. They're the same shape as the normal Condors. And to be honest with you, these feel great. So let's give them a comparison to the K-Flex and Condors I currently have. And let's see how they hold up visually and in terms of the feel. So to be honest with you guys, when I first got these or read about them online or seen people buy them, they struck me as being similar to the Condor Zero Stress. Or at least that's what I thought they'd be like with a really bendy, really flimsy. But in actual fact, holding them here, these are very stiff. Zero stress if you ever use them, they literally bend like that. I think one of the worst start stems ever made because some people like them, but they're just so, the bounce outs are crazy. Like that's like a trampoline on a dart. Whereas these guys, they have no kind of flex in them at all. They're very steadfast. Whereas the K-Flex, you can see that they kind of do bend a little bit. These guys, it's just like having a normal, actually, you know what? There is a little bit of a bend in them, but they're very stiff. These are condors, you can see here, they're just, as stiff as the Condors, and then comparing them to the K-Flex, the K-Flex kind of, if you felt them, they're like a plexiglass kind of feel. You can tell by even flicking them compared, like you can hear the difference in noise here, these are a little more dense, versus, hopefully the camera can flick that out, it's a little bit more higher pitched off these. And these are kind of coming in, in between the two. So yeah, these are out of the box, and for the price I paid, I got two, I think I got two sets for Let's give them a go. So this is gonna be my first time trying these darts. I put on the pink ones to match the pink under armor t-shirt I'm wearing. Let's see how they go. For a reference, I'm trying normally the K-Flex. There's a tiny difference in the length of them and the flight shape is slightly different. So what I'm gonna go for here and look for is if I feel any difference. We're just gonna throw off some big 20s and see what happens. A bad start with tongue. So, what I'm also gonna look for, and I'm gonna move to some other videos in a second of some close ups, is the landing angle and how the grouping is. In terms of the weight, they are a tiny bit heavier than the K flexes I've noticed already. But they're flying okay. I mean, there's six darts in, two tons in a row. Like, again, for what I paid for these, which I'll show in a second. I mean, I'm liking them so far. So we have a ton, a ton and a 125. Landing angles, they're landing a bit different. Is that just the way I'm trying them though? I have to give them a few more throws to find out. First bad score. We had a focus area. First bad score, 43. Let's go for some bullseyes. Okay, they're not great. All right, now let's go for some 19s. Not bad, like so far I'm liking these. So I'll quickly change back to the K-Flex, it's gonna do nine darts. Just going for a high score with these versus the K-Flex. We'll go with the K-Flex first. Okay, so we have the K-Flex on. We're gonna give nine darts and then compare them to nine darts with the Timu flight. Okay, 59 first three. Ooh, that's a wild one. There we go. 59 to 66 is 125. That's not great. Right, 45, that's not great, but we'll take this as a, we'll take it just as a baseline, right? So that's 170 scored with these. Gonna pop on the team, guys, and let's give it a go. 
Now one thing I've noticed already is they are not considerably but a decent bit more difficult to actually screw in to the barrel. Okay, so here we go. Nine darts with the Timu K Flex, as we'll call them. We start off with a steady 60. Ooh, 41. All right, what do we have, 69 to beat? We finish with a ton. This is all I'm saying. It could be that the slightly longer actual stem works for me, but I'm just showing you guys. So far, I'm really liking these. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you just a few clips of me trying to group the bars as tightly as I can with both sets. And then also so you can get an idea of the landing eye angle and I'll put them side by side. Quick disclaimer on this. This looks funny because I do play worse with the K-Flex in this clip, but I'm no means saying if you use the K-Flex, you'll play worse than if you get these new flights. So what I would say is I will leave a link to both flights below and you can make your mind up as to which ones you purchase. I just think these are cool for the price I paid for them. So yeah, after I edited this video, I looked back and it's like, Jesus, that comes across like I'm slating the K-Flexes. By no means. I think they're fantastic. But with that said, let's get back into the video and I hope you enjoy. So here's a quick 30 second voiceover. I was struggling to actually like go back to my normal darts while playing with these things. As you can see the scoring in the team with darts, like the first nine darts after I put the camera on this was ton 40, ton 180. So the grouping is definitely there. I like them. They land a little bit flatter, they're a little bit heavier, but I'm really not stuck for words, but like for the price I paid, which I will reveal soon, Awesome, awesome. It might last as long, but I love them. They're class. So, folks, I'm genuinely unsure what to think of these guys. I was expecting to make this and just have a laugh with this video. But is it weird for me to say I think I could be throwing these flights from now on? Obviously, I need to give them a little bit more of a go, but my head is confused. I don't know what to think of these anymore. I was expecting them to be a joke, but I really, really like them. And you can see by my scoring, I was scoring better with these guys. As soon as I put the camera down to just record me throwing these guys, my first nine darts I think was a ton, 140, 180. So uh, yeah, I think for the price I got them for, it's a no brainer. I have nothing against the K-Flex. I think the K-Flex are fantastic, but if they're sold out and you can't get your hands on them, again, I'm in no way affiliated with, the, I don't even know who makes these. I got two sets of these for under three euro, I think. Listen, I don't recommend things a lot because you guys work hard for your money, but free shipping with these guys. I'm no way affiliated with Timu. Two pound 50, two euro 80 something, that's all they were. I think it's rude not to. And honestly, you might see these feature a lot more on my darts, which is strange also because the past few weeks I've actually been showing the Phil Taylor Vapors, which are the tiniest flight known to man on these tiny, tiny extra short stems. But I'm really liking these. Are these the K-Flex killer? I don't know, but what I would say is try them out for yourself and see what you think. It could be a few factors. It could be the way I was throwing them. It could be anything. But for me personally, wow is all I'll say. I am so shook by how well these performed. You can see the grouping. I wasn't expecting them to group well because it's literally just a straight barrel. But I guess that, and it's actually kind of, it goes outwards. You can see it there. So it's, kind of like the opposite of what you want in some ways, but but I guess because it's narrower where it actually hits the flight, that's where you're there to be landing into it. So it kind of pushes them out alongside it. Big, big fan. So as always, let me know what you guys want to see me order from Team Next or AliExpress or whatever. See if I can find some gems, like these potentially could be for you guys. Yeah, they're awesome. I'm just gonna have them in rotation, see how they go. And if you did enjoy the video, leave a like. If you're new here, please subscribe for more darts content. You can, you can follow along my journey to becoming, hopefully one day, a professional darts player. If you have tried these or you're waiting on K-Flex, let me, let me know your comments below. I'm interested to get a conversation started around these and I'm just interested to hear what you guys have to think of this short video. So other than that, as always, I hope you enjoyed the video and until next time.